I had actually never seen anything quite like this before in all the different places that I've lived, never received anything directly from the city asking for participation in such an unconventional group and uh, democratic setting. I am someone who believes deeply in civic engagement. Um, it helps that uh, I studied politics in a university. I um, believe that uh, the most effective forms of democracy involve an engaged and um, informed citizenry. So I think these are important aspects that are necessary to keep, to do the, the, the daily logistics and the daily grind of democracy. I like to participate in um, things and because I'm fairly new to the country, um, I'm keen to get involved and I've always been community minded. I just wanted a chance to try to get involved in something bigger than myself, but also it seemed kind of cool, you know, learning about how housing works and um, to, just in my area. And I assumed that that could be, I don't know, helpful, if not just a fun little fact to know. And so I almost didn't fill it out for, I had it like on my countertop for two days and I almost didn't fill it out because I was like, I probably have nothing to offer. And then I was like, but what if I do? I was pretty motivated just to get involved about an issue that's really important to not just Eugene, but the whole state of Oregon. Um, I've kind of just grown up, you know, seeing some of the struggles and issues of, of the housing crisis here. So uh, I was really motivated to, you know, get involved, make a difference. I actually have direct experience with mental housing. I've lived in a townhome, not in the state of Oregon, but in a different US state. Um, and I, I thought that would be relevant to a lot of the discussions that we had. I'm really passionate about amplifying all voices. And so I felt like this was a really cool opportunity to get involved. The most important thing I brought to this panel was my experience as a renter and also just somebody of uh, kind of the younger population, the younger cohorts. I'm only 23, so, uh, and, I, and I just graduated college. So um, I think that's, an, uh, that's an, a perspective that's really important. Experience with public transportation. Uh, I used, when um, school was still in session, I used to ride the bus to school every day. So maybe that was, and I brought it up a lot in the panel meetings. I've actually come into contact with someone who's homeless just once, but I know this story because um, it's the sister, the person that it is, um, their sister is my neighbour and tells me the story of this homeless person. So um, I'm getting a, a quite a um, personal um, view of um, what's happening in that area. Probably just a willingness to engage in honest and straightforward discussion concerning the matters at hand. Um, a willingness to participate and bring my honest uh, opinions to the table. I would say that just being a part of something so diverse with all sorts of, you know, people from all sorts of different backgrounds and experience levels, um, and of multiple demographics was super inspiring because I, you know, there was representation for most everyone, I would say, um, which is super crucial in any decision process. And that kind of just inspired me moving forward that, you know, there are healthy processes in the making. I surprised myself in how active I was. Uh, I was in the wordsmithing communi uh, community, wordsmithing task committee which uh, in this last week has had a, a lot of work. I'm usually uh, the quietest person in the room and yet uh, on several occasions was leading the charge. So uh, it, it was interesting and eye-opening, I suppose, in certain ways uh, to see that a, a task that I care about and is interesting in certain ways uh, can change my own behavior for the better. I've become more informed on the issue for one. I've been become much more informed. It's changed my perspective on zoning law and single family 
zoning. The whole idea about middle housing, I never knew a thing about it to start off with. I didn't even know what middle housing was. So um, I feel like I'm really well informed in that area. And how, how while the American dream is tied into, you know, people having a, a, a property and a home for their family and whatnot, how exclusionary that was to so many people. My neighborhood is this whole patchwork of different types of housing. Um, so it's really interesting to just get out there and uh, look at it all, not to mention some houses are still being built. So it's um, uh, fun when I'm out in walks to just try to imagine um, what I've learned here, like, could this have been, um, could this have been a duplex or a triplex? How would that have changed things here? This panel kind of exposed me to a lot of different backgrounds from different people. You know, everybody has their own problems uh, and their own way of going about it. And, um, you know, housing, while is, it's, you know, one central problem, it, it affects everybody just in, in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, I, with experience like these, I tend to become more sympathetic, more understanding. I feel like my voice was heard. Um, definitely, you know, was able to put a lot of input, I feel like, and honestly surprised myself at how much I felt like I had something to say. I didn't think I would have much to say when I joined the panel or was selected for it. So I was surprised every time the meetings were over that I had said as much. I do think my voice was heard. Um, and I think I had, I mean, just plenty of opportunity to do so in this process. Uh, everyone was really respectful and always, um, at the very least, responded or gave me room to talk. So it was always really nice. I feel my voice is heard. Healthy Democracy has done a really good job about um, addressing people's concerns and their questions and things like that. And um, I believe it made some sort of an impact just as much as anyone else who participated in the conversations. Um, when we were doing the, uh, the final votes earlier, there was like two, two of those little bullet points were something that I had proposed in our small group. So, you know, there's mm -hmm. a, a, a tangible impact there. There were opportunities in every single meeting, every single small group get together where we had plenty of time to voice our opinions. Uh, um, and speak directly to people who, you know, are, are really involved with this democratic process. They were constantly asking for feedback, uh, you know, the, the forms every single time we have a meeting. There mm -hmm. were, were plentiful opportunities to make sure that what we had to say was said and heard. I just want to say, you know, thank you to yourself and I mean, everybody that participated in the panel. Um, I think it, it takes a certain amount of character to uh, be willing to participate in something like this. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important for, for public, for your, you know, uh, you could call it a patriotic, a patriotic act, if you will, uh, you know, for your community. I feel so privileged to be part of um, the process and I didn't think I I was um, well all the voices really were going to be that impactful but I can see like together with the last couple of meetings everything was sort of coming together and just um, looking at the principles that um, we arrived at in the end I, I'm really happy with it and I've I just think that's great that everyone was able to have input, including myself, and just being part of that process and being represented, um, it's a, been a real privilege. I've got to meet a lot of really cool people through this panel. Um, and while I guess we don't all know each other personally, it's just really nice to interact with a wider uh, array, array of people during uh, such a lonely time. I think this is a really cool uh, organization that is is doing really cool stuff. Civic engagement is important. And I, you know, 
I think in the, with the live streaming, the transparency, the availability of the speakers, everything, they, the way they go about doing it is really well done. And I would like to just commend them on that. I am incredibly grateful to have been a part of this panel, this process. I have definitely learned a lot, not only about HB 2001 and housing in the Eugene area, but also like procedural, you know, things like how healthy procedures work and what they look like and how they are, you know, cultivated. I think that there is definitely, you know, there's always room for growth. And so I'm excited to see what healthy democracy evolves into or inspires um, or both. One word to sum up my experience, I would probably use the word inspirational. I would sum up my experience with the panel as empowering. Enlightening. Remarkable. Let's go with enlightening. Educating. I've been become much more informed. Like everything had merit and mattered in the end and everyone was involved in all of those processes. Um, I felt like it was, it was incredibly empowering to just see the work that we've been doing come to a place of fruition. It's inspiring to see this many members of the community who have other things going on in their lives and are busy doing work and family and everything else to come together and put time aside to partake in civic engagement. It did feel very inspiring to see, you know, democracy in action and in a way that was encompassing and embracing of all sorts of identities and demographics. Um, and I really loved, you know, what came out of that, what types of takeaways I had, and also um, I'm really excited for the future of all of these sorts of processes. Hopefully this will inspire, you know, an abundance of similar processes in every facet of our democracy.